Hey y'all, today I'm going to be showing y'all my Mega Moto or Monster Moto uh, 212 swap. 212 swapped. Um, it used to have a little electric motor in it. This right there, it's, it's actually a Monster Moto. It had a little electric motor and it used to be right here, but this is the 212 I swapped onto it. And I put a stage one kit on it, but let me show y'all how to how to swap these. It's pretty easy. So you unbolt the old um, system, electronic system, or ADCC motor you had on one of these. And there's probably going to be four four bolts underneath. Four four bolts underneath, right there. And you just unbolt the old one. And then after you unbolted the old one. You pull it out and you take off whatever old twist grip was on there because I had an electric twist grip with mine, so I had to buy a new twist grip. But then you drop in your Predator and you just mark it up with Sharpies, like a white Sharpie or like a paint Sharpie or something. Uh, put it through the engine hole and mark up the plate and then you drill the holes, find some bolts that fit, put them through. Or you could use the originals if you had an ADCC motor. And so you just, and then you just hook up your throttle and all that, and then your motor's in. Now, with the chain, the chain on these, on the electric motors and on the uh, um, ADCC motors, the chain is 35 chain. So you need to get yourself some 35 chain. And I know my chain's a little bit loose, but I just need to tension it up a little bit later. But uh, so you, it has to be 35 chain. Or you could do a sprocket swap, which I did do a sprocket swap here, so I could go a little bit faster, but I just left it 35, 35 chain because I have a 35 chain clutch. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty simple swap. It's nothing that, it's nothing too hard. Now, if you don't have a stage one kit, you're going to have to trim your air box right here because it's not going to fit. And another thing you got to trim on the engine is the, the old drain plug right there. Um, you're gonna have to cut it, but you can still drain the oil because right there you got one in the back too. So you'll, you're good there. Um, now, if you want to bolt up a stage one kit, uh, I suggest getting one of these pipes or like a center exhaust that center exhaust that comes like from there to here and doesn't touch this. Um, uh, mine hits the frame a tiny bit, but I'm not worried about that because it bolts up. Perfectly, there's no exhaust leak here or nothing, but it hits the frame just a tiny bit right there. But it's nothing that I would really worry about. Um, so for stage one kit, the exhaust is the easy part. The hardest part is getting that filter on because I didn't put no riser here. I didn't. Um, some people what they do is they cut. Um, they cut the plate. They cut the plate. Oh, sorry. Focus. They cut the plate right there, and they re-weld it to there, so your engine's up a little bit and away from here. It comes up a little bit more, so you can mount one of these on. But, I didn't feel like doing that, so what I did is, back behind your carburetor, there's something called a carburetor insulator. And what that does is it just, it's basically a spacer, and it's about that thick. So what I did is I went on eBay and bought one for like six bucks and then I trimmed it up because you're gonna have a whole bunch of stuff here and like a plate here so just look up carburetor insulator if you want to do that but uh and then I used it as a spacer from this adapter plate to there to the carburetor make sure you have a gasket there because you don't want no vacuum leak coming and making your engine run rough and all that but Yep, I'm going to be removing the governor and putting 18-pound valve spring soon. So, uh, yeah, it it really has plenty of power. Um, one thing about this is the old tires on it wear out so quick. So I put some Sun Fs, whatever you call it, and they lasted much longer. And I still got a little bit of tread left. I ride this thing a lot, but uh, yeah. Um, it, it's a pretty easy procedure. Um, but yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. See y'all next time on the Louisiana Rebel TV channel. Later.